Vitam, hello. This is Benjamin Franklin, and I am Eric Weiner, author of the new book, Ben and Me in Search of a Founder's Formula for a Long and Useful Life. Now, you may be wondering why you, sitting there in Poland, should read a book about an American founding father. I'll give you a few reasons, but first I want to tell you why I wrote this book. Most of my previous books have dealt with foreign sources of wisdom, such as Gandhi or Confucius, but I realized I knew very little about my own history, my own founders, and Benjamin Franklin seemed like the perfect person, the perfect vessel through which I could learn more about my own history than share it with readers. Another reason is, frankly, I was getting a bit older, and I had a big birthday coming up, and I was looking for a model, someone I can turn to for lessons about aging well and about living well. And these are not just American questions or Polish questions. They are universal questions, questions we all wonder about. How to age well, how to live well, how to lead a meaningful life. And the fact is, no one did that better than Benjamin Franklin. He may have lived 300 years ago, but he, has, is at, but he is as relevant today as he ever has been. So why should you read this book? Reason number one, you'll learn a lot. Not like in your history class in high school, this is fun learning. You will learn about Franklin and swimming, Franklin and wine, Franklin and women you will see Franklin as a human being. Because the book is called Ben and Me, this is not a typical biography. This is not me writing about Benjamin Franklin. This is me engaging with Franklin, having a relationship with Franklin. And you'll learn, a lot, you'll learn along the way too. Number two is we travel. I'm a travel writer. Benjamin Franklin was a huge traveler. He covered some 70,000 kilometers during his life, crossed the Atlantic Ocean eight times, and I follow in his footsteps to Philadelphia and Boston and London and Paris and more. Number three, the book is useful. You will learn actual techniques, for instance, how to control and channel your anger. Now, Franklin, like all of us, would experience anger. He was human after all. But he didn't act on that anger. Very rarely did he do that. What he would do, for instance, is he would write what I call placebo letters. He'd write an angry letter to someone who really pissed him off, and then he would wait 24 hours before sending the letter. And do you know what? Most of the time, he never sent that letter. Number two, you will learn secrets that Franklin had to getting along with people. And one of them is known as the Benjamin Franklin effect. Very simply, Franklin discovered that the way to endear yourself to someone is not to do favors for them, but to ask them to do favors for you. Psychologists have shown that this is true. It's called the Benjamin Franklin effect. And the third reason you should read this book is because it's fun and funny and personal it is about Benjamin Franklin, but it's also about me, and it's about living a good life, and you'll have a lot of fun along the way. So uh, Ben and I say, we hope you read my new book, Ben and Me. Thank you very much.